Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I will explain how to install HTTP3 with Blueprint. So go to this community website. I will be adding this in the description. And I have one uh, single node instance running on AWS. Let me connect that and switch to super user and do all the prerequisites. It's like uh, VM Sapiness, SE Linux, etc. I'm just creating a script and uh, pasting that prerequisites script into that. So basically changing the host name to master.hadoop.com VM Sapiness, SE Linux disabling and uh, NTP starting, installing, etc. So I'm adding execute permission to this script and then executing that script. So that's it. So this will do all the prerequisites configuration for my single node instance. So once that is done, so I can check the host name and uh, I can get the private IP address from if config and uh, update etc host file. So master.hadoop.com and short name is master. So that's it. And now I have to set up Ambari server and agent. Go to this link and get that Ambari repository and go to the Ambari repository from here you can get that ambari.repo file URL copy that URL and download it into my uh, single node instance so go to etcm.repos.d where all the repos are configured so I have to install uh, wget command because wget is the command which used to download something so I use wget and that repo location so now you can see ambari.repo file has created and see the content so th it's pointing to Hortonworks repository so now install ambari server and agent by using yum install command so it do installation of ambari server and agent and its dependent component so now uh, set up ambari by using ambari setup and i use the option iphone s so iphone s will do the installation silently that means it accept the default settings and continue that settings ambari setup so it's uh, using the postgres db and configuring and all done during this phase and let me enable this service so that the next reboot the service will be up and running and similarly I do enable for Ambari agent service also so now I can reboot my machine so by using reboot command so and uh, once it's rebooted so I can connect it back so once it's uh, connected okay so copy this uh, public IP address and make sure our Ambari server is running fine so you should get a page like this and you should be able to log in with admin admin default credential so that means my Ambari has set up successfully so now go to this uh, Hortonworks community blog and here you can see one file host mapping JSON so copy that template and paste it in your machine so first i'm creating a directory to keep all my files for this blueprint based installation and uh, creating that file with the name hostname mapping.json and add the contents so this define my cluster and the first part the blueprint the name of the blueprint and the default password is admin so that is the password it used by default for any service it's going to install and under host group you can see one alias name that is the name host group one and the host actual host name and this fully qualified domain name so you have to replace with the server name where you are installing so i'm changing it into my host name that is master.hadoop.com 
So once completed, save this and continue. Sorry, I have to save it. Then the next file is the cluster configuration file. So basically that file contain uh, information about the services that we are going to install and uh, uh, this blueprint name etc and HDP version etc. So create the file cluster underscore config.json and paste these entries here. And here I have to make few changes. So host group is same as like uh, the configuration part is empty. That means uh, here I am choosing everything, the complete configuration for the services as default. So if you are taking this blueprint from an existing cluster, you can see some entries over here under configurations. So since I'm going to implement a brand new cluster with the default configuration settings, I kept this as empty. And under host group, so every every host alias name and the components we are going to install. So I have only one host group that is the host underscore group underscore one because it's a single node installation and the component are basically the components which I am going to install here. So let me go to that uh, host and see the host mapping and see the blueprint name and the host name etc. So make sure you are using the same name across all the files because if you use the different name then definitely your installation will fail. And under blueprint section you can see uh, that blueprint name then HDP stack version so since we installed uh, HDP uh, I mean uh, Ambari the latest version which support HDP 3 you can change uh, this stack version from 2.3 to 3.0 which is the latest version so that's it now we can save this file so we have got these two files host mapping and cluster configuration so let's register this uh, cluster configuration with our host you can copy this uh, url i mean curl command so the replace the host name with the host name of our ambari server so that is master.hadoop.com and api v1 blueprints then the next is the blueprint name so we can get the blueprint name from our configuration file it's a single node HTTP cluster then iphone d and name of that file cluster config just add atp for that and hit enter okay so now we are getting an error message like the timeline reader so in we use uh, the template for 2.3 and in 3 it require an additional component timeline reader so i have to add this service into this file so open that json file and add this entry so this is one more component like use comma and to make sure you are using the same uh, format and add that name equal to so timeline reader that's it save this and continue this this time it's executed without any error so that means we have registered this blueprint with our cluster so now we can start the installation by executing uh, this command so curl a copy and paste that and replace the host name and a cluster name so th this is the cluster name that we are going to build so i'm using the blueprint underscore cluster as my cluster name and uh, replace this host name with master.hadoop.com and then hit enter and yeah use that host mapping file here uh okay so fail to connect so something is wrong so i allow to edit and manually add that host name so dot com 8080 api v1 clusters and i can copy the entire string from here and paste it 
then hit enter so you can see the status as accepted so that means our cluster has started installing HTTP so now we can log into Ambari by using admin and password as admin and uh, refresh that you can see uh, these components are added and on the activity menu you can see two activities hit that and expand and you can see two operations are in progress so one is installing component and the second is starting so the installation is going on and you can expand that and see the details here so what are the activity it's going to do just minimize that and wait for some time and after some time you can see all the services are installed configured properly and everything will be in green state so that means uh, it's uh, completed the installation so this concludes the installation of single node HTTP cluster but using blueprint